subtracting fractions or a mixed number with borrowing. Sometimes when we subtract fractions, we need to borrow one from the mixed number that we're borrowing from. In order to do this, we must convert our fractions to have common denominators. So the common denominator for 2 and 7 would be 14. I'm going to convert these two fractions into its higher equivalent form. 2 goes into 14 7 times, so I'm going to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 7. 1 times 7 is 7, and 2 times 7 is 14. I'm going to do the same thing for the other fraction. 7 goes into 14 2 times, so I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2 and the numerator by 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Now we have 7 subtract 12. We can't do this, so I have to borrow from 5. I'm, and I'm going to borrow 1 from 5. So 5 will become a 4, and the 1 will go right here. And we're still going to subtract 3. So now, I need to convert this 1 and 7 over 14 into an improper fraction. In order to do this, we take the denominator, multiply the whole number, and add it to the numerator. 14 times 1 is 14, plus 7 is 21. And our denominator remains the same. I bring the 4 down, and I bring 3 and 12, 14 down as well. Now we can subtract. I'm going to subtract the fractions first. 21 subtract 12 will get us 9. Our denominator, 14, remains the same. 4 subtract 3 is 1. Our final answer is 1 and 9 14. This fraction cannot be reduced any further, and this completes our problem.